All right, guys, welcome back to the farm here, and today we're going to make the last video on putting together this mower. We got the cover painted. I run out of paint, and it might be a little splotchy, but I used, I used all my orange paint, and uh, I got this part of the frame painted. So this is the part I replaced right here, and we're going to bend it. And I also got the back part of the frame painted. I didn't notice until I took the cover off that it had a bend in it as well. But it's not too bad. It's just a little dip there. And then I ordered some, ooh, and then I ordered some uh, bolts from Fastenal. 10 millimeter. First ones I got in are too short. These are 20 millimeter long, so I had to go back and order some 25 millimeter long, which is an inch. So I finally got them in today, so that'll be enough to finish up these. And this is the one I was telling you about that already comes with the bolts, and they're pre-installed, which is the way they all should come, just like this. All you need is two nuts and this little bolt on the back, so... Too bad the others didn't come that way, but anyway, guys, we're going to get the tractor out. Right now, it's hooked to the hay spear. I've been trying to move some old hay out of this barn. Uh, some hay that I bailed up the road last year. It's real dusty. The cows won't eat it. So, we're going to hook up to this thing and go ahead and uh, bring it up and put all the shields on and then put the canopy on so one day when I get a chance I am going to paint the rest of this frame to match the other day I did went ahead and put new belts on her I already had these belts for at least a year or two and uh, so we're gonna get started by installing this outer cover it should be a lot easier now that this thing ain't bent all the way back against it. It used to be a sure enough pain, but we got all kind of room to get that cover on off now. And then we'll uh, put the shields on, and then finally the canopy. And I'm not going to put my blades on right now because I hadn't, I hadn't really got around to sharpening. I did fill her up with oil, and. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put the blades on when I when whenever I get ready to go cutting, so they'll be fresh and sharpened and not rusty. All right, well let's get started with this cover. All right, guys, well I went ahead and removed the nuts. They're just uh, acorn acorn style nuts, and uh, I lost this bolt that goes here. I think I can find one now. I will put one on it. But I've got them. Make sure nothing's hitting, I'm going to turn the blades. I don't hear nothing hitting. Well, I looked around, I didn't find any that need a short one here. So I'll have to pick up one sometime or another. Alright, so next step is put these shields on. And uh, because I already got this first one on, so I'm going to put this little nut up here. And then I'll go down the row. Cows and been eating on me. And we'll just go down the row, put these 
shields on. Let's see if I can set you up where you can see something. Hmm. I believe they give me the wrong one. There we go. That, that one with this, this style is not going to fit. I'll show you the difference. All right, guys, here's the difference. This is that style. Get these damn nuts up. Here's this style. Notice the angled edges up here. And here's this style. Notice no angled edges. Therefore, this one will fit. Unfortunately, this one won't. I bought this one last year. I never put it on, so I didn't know. So I'm going to have to take this one back and see if I can't uh, find a receipt on it. I'm sure I got it somewhere. And order another one of these. So unfortunately, it ain't going to all be complete today, but I'll get what I can. Straighten this thing out. It messed up my hinge spacing. I'll show you what I mean. I straightened it out. Somehow or another it bent this one back. And so this one is right, or pretty close to right. So I need to get this one both down. And then figure out some way of bending that into place. Alright, I ain't got a whole lot of time left on this camera. This one's in. About five minutes. And this one locks a whole lot. So I got to figure out how in the world I'm going to pull that to get it bent back enough to hook in. Alright guys, I ain't got just a few minutes of video left, but I want to show you what I did. Took a big old strap, hooked on here. It actually picked the whole thing up and I stood and bounced on that end until something bent. But I ain't sure yet it's ready to go. Oh crap, got a new tar about flat. Guys, I am extremely, extremely disappointed with this cover. It does not fit what so damn ever at all. These centers, there's the center. We got two grommets here, two down there. They sent me a whole pack of these things. I don't know where you're supposed to put the rest of them. I guess cut holes in the damn thing. It just will not fit either way. I'm pretty sure I got the right way because it's got to split right back here. But it's got a hole here. Well, it's got to split here for this thing. And I am out of battery, so 
we'll see what we can do thanks for watching stay tuned for more